Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, we are from group 2 with the theme security awareness And the title is how to protect information from threats And here are the group members Siti Puput Hermawati Rifa Rifdatu Saada Nelly Saada Tudarain Anissa Fida Arya And the last, Ajeng Sri Bulan Anjani Have you ever heard about security awareness? And do you know that? The term cybersecurity awareness has been defined by Sho et al. as follows. The degree of understanding of users about the importance of information security and their responsibilities and acts to exercise sufficient levels of information security control to protect the organization's data and networks. Have you ever been hacked? Do you realize that is one of cybersecurity threats? and how to protect your information from such threats. So, in this video, we will give you some tips to protect your information from threats. The first step you have to do is use antivirus. Antivirus software is designed to detect, remove, and prevent malware infections on your device or network. Antivirus software is specifically designed to remove viruses, but it is also useful against spyware hardware and other malicious software. A basic antivirus program scans files for malicious software and allows users to schedule automatic scans to remove malicious software. Next, use strong authentication. Passwords are intuitive. They are prone to a multitude of attacks and weak spots such as impersonation, guessing, observing, snooping, borrowing, and dictionary attacks. Therefore, strong authentication techniques are required to minimize the risk involving these high-value systems. Implementing two authentication factors of distinct types instead of one provides an advanced level of authentication assurance. Alright, for the next is secure your desktops. Group Lisa allows security manager to set configuration details for the operating system and its components for example, Internet Explorer, Windows Media Player, and so on, and other apps. For example, you can change the setting for its Internet Explorer security zone and for your organization's use of content filtering internet proxy or disallow the use of unsigned third-party macros in Microsoft Office apps. And for the next is plug information links. Sensitive information can flow out of your organization via email, printed copy, instance messaging, or by people who only talk about things they should keep to themselves. Technology can help, starting with the Intrusion Detection System or IDS. Scan your business plan for unique prices that you won't find anywhere else and configure your IDS to alert you whenever it sees this telltale snipped on the network. The next step is refocus permitted tools and strategies. By applying your permitted tools to the inside of your network, you can greatly improve your security posture. One of them is with a firewall. Firewall is a system that is designed to prevent an authorized access from entering a private network by filtering the information that is coming from the internet. A firewall is important for large organization that has a lot of computers and servers in them, because you don't want all those devices accessible to everyone on the internet. The last step is monitoring for misuse. Your security requires direct employee monitoring from video cameras to keystroke logging, such as identity and access management enables the right individuals to access resources at right times. Web content filters are useful tools since they can be set to block photography, competitors' websites, and hacker tool, all of which figure prominently in common insider security threats. Why we should know about security awareness? For the first is protecting your sensitive information. For the second is protecting your personal information. For the third is protecting your keystroke to obtain password from a thief. That's why we have to know about security awareness. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.